Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today I'm doing a drawing with Posca pens, and share some of my tips with you. I also have another brand of markers called Molotow, but um, maybe I'm not using it right way. I don't think the ink is coming out as smooth and consistent compared to Posca, so I only have like four. But the colors do amazing. I do have a big collection of Poscas now, but some of them are same color, just different sizes. Um, I got them as Christmas gift in 2017, I think. But I was so clueless with them. And when I did the first drawing, I just didn't like it. I just, I just, no, I said no for me. <laughs> so I put them away for a long, long time until Inktober last year, when I um, was too lazy to use my paint paint to do this challenge. So I gave Posca a go and I absolutely fell in love with them. Some of you on Instagram asked me if I ever bought a big set. Um, the answer is no, but I did buy this four pen set from Amazon. I think it was called um, Cherry Blossom, but I think I chose the wrong nib size, it's uh, 5 and it's way too chunky for beginners, in my opinion, unless you're doing a big bold colouring. And I don't think there's too many colours, you can't have too many colours because you, you will never know until you try it. And <laughs> that's my experience with my green pen collections. <laughs> I don't know, I just found green maybe too realistic to draw with because I do a lot of landscape art and um, when I draw mountain or trees with green I just found it eh. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but you know that feeling. But it's alright to have them. Maybe someday I'll get to know them better again. I think my favourite colours from Poscas are probably the blues. Not just one blue, but all of them. I think I got all of them. Um, I have light blue, sky blue, and blue. Oh, there's another blue, um, navy blue. I forgot about it because I basically use it as like a black colour. I don't use black, black because it seems a bit too solid for me and this navy blue is so dark if you do two or three layers it looks like um blue toned black if that makes sense so the poscas i have i have uh, strictly speaking four sizes um one m one mr three and five and number five is mainly for bold colouring because you get so frustrated if you draw smaller than just a big chunk of colour and it's really satisfying using. Most of my pens are in size 3 and um, they are probably the most practical um, can do small details and um, also can do a little colouring small area doesn't feel too tiring. For the smallest details I use size 1 um, they have two different types. One is 1M, which is this tip tip. <laughs> um, another type is 1MR, the round tip. Um, I found the ink stuck sometimes, like doesn't come down, but you can see it, it, co it has come out, but just not down to the paper, and um, which is quite frustrating. Um, I bought it because I didn't know there's two different types. Yeah, wouldn't really recommend 1MR. Um, also got a question about how long does a pen last? Um, well, some pen last forever because it's useless. And, um, but I always have a spare one for the colours I use so often, just so I don't want to, like, out of ink in the middle of something. So that's a pen bits done. I use watercolour paper. Um, just because I have a lot of them. Sometimes I use a piece of the card or board under the paper uh, just because if I have my paper fixed taped on the table 
sometimes I struggle to draw a straight line um, with certain angles. So if I have a board, I can move the board around and get to an angle I'm comfortable with drawing a straight line. I use washi tape um, and this roll I have is really not sticky. So I'm not worrying about it peel the paper when I take it off later. Another question I get a lot is where do I find inspirations? Um, I think a lot of time is me paying attention to surroundings or the new things when I'm out. Some moments really give me inspirations. Another method I use a lot is look at picture books. And um, no, you don't have to buy I mean you can buy them but for me they're quite expensive and um I don't really have space for them in my flat so I use my local library a lot and this is my latest borrowed book from my library so for today's drawing I chose um this picture as my starting point I just quite like the simplicity and the mood about it I don't tend to stick with the photo 100%. I like to add a bit things and delete things from the picture, just kind of adding a little bit of me in it. So for this drawing, I'm adding a, some mountains at the back. And because my impatient sketch style, I um, often use a rubber to kind of reduce the sketch a little bit, otherwise it can be a pain to cover. Um, another question I get a lot is about color choices, um, about how do I choose my colors and how do I know which colors to use. If you really don't know what to do with a drawing, I recommend you to pick few color combos you think might work and try them out like this one, the thumbnails I did. I, I tried three different combos and um, yeah, just like very rough sketch where color gonna be. And it's very useful and it can be frustrating because sometimes you just never get it 100% but that was probably the best learning process. So here we go, and I'm sorry that my hair and head is in the picture. I really didn't know, um. But anyway, I think I always start with the area with like biggest chunk of color, um, like the sky, just so kind of set the tone or like make me not feeling this paper so blank. I'm scared of draw anything, um. Yeah, I usually use a three to do a bit outline where I don't want the color to go over. Even though it won't be the end of the world because Posca has really good coverage. Even the lightest color like white, you can, you know, go over darker shades and have no problem with it. I think it's a common problem that people have with drawing on paper with Posca is that the paper start to peel off a little bit or you know some fluff coming up with the paint um what i find useful to solve or the, avoid this problem is that don't do the same stroke twice always move to the blank space because it starts to tear up because the paper gets too wet yeah even you haven't you know missed some place leave it until later when the layers dried. I mean, I usually do more than one layer just so I can get the solid block color that doesn't have much marks on it. Even, you know, it still happens to me, the paper starts to fluff. And if there's a fluff, like I will leave it. And until when it's dried, I just kind of rub it off or, you know, pick it out of the paper. And if you do it, with care it shouldn't be noticeable and if you're out of patience i think um 
if you had a patient and you just want to, you know, fix that little color, you just dab on it, dab your pen instead of going strokes. You just kind of dab one, dab two, and as long as the surrounding is kind of wet, the color gonna blend well. Ah,、uh, and by the way, the piece of paper on the side is usually um for cleaning the tip, because sometimes. You lose your patient, so you kind of use a lighter color over a darker layer. So then they get a bit dirty, and mix with other colors. So you just draw a few strokes until, you know, they disappear. Easy peasy. Um, I used to use heat guns to accelerate the painting process. <laughs> yeah. Impatient, I know, but um, what I also found is sometimes the heat gun, cause the heat is so concentrated in one area, it can make the paint to crack a little, like has some cracks in them. You know, it's not best look. So nowadays, I just let it dry naturally, and I mean, what you can do is sometimes I keep another. A little piece of paper on the side to draw something else when I wait for one to dry. I mean, sounds efficient. Or you can just go make yourself a tea or do dishes. <laughs> I don't know, do whatever. But just be patient. Wait for later to dry, and believe me, a lot of problem will go away. <laughs> I think that's the base done, but. Yeah, that's me sitting there looking at it, thinking it's missing something. That's basically me every time when I draw. I always change my mind. I never had one sketch and I go like, "Yes, that's exactly how it's gonna turn out." Like, no, I always, I always like doubt myself and trying this and trying that. But you know, why not? Right, I think. That's most of my tips that I can give. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I don't have that many theory or method. That just kind of my experience. So if you have any questions, maybe comment down below and or let me know on Instagram. And、um, yeah, I'll try my best to answer it. And enjoy the rest of the process. Bye bye. Oh, oh, oh.